everyone it's Leilani welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be working on another project life spread for week 26 of 2022 so this week I am using another one of the adorable Nellie and Clem kits so this is the whatcha watching kit and I really love this one it is so cute it's filled with all kinds of TV shows movies snacks I love this diet coke card here I wasn't able to use it this time but I will definitely be using it in the future and I just thought it was a cute kit overall so I decided that I wanted to use it really because even though I I didn't have actual photos of us like going to the movies or any movie posters or anything like that. I knew that we were watching a lot of TV over this particular week and that is because if you are like me, Stranger Things has basically controlled my summer and over this weekend the second half of season four dropped so that was like the biggest thing that we were doing this weekend and we watched a lot of TV because we just sat down and binged like the entire last half so it was a few hours long so it was really fun so even though I don't have any actual pictures of it I will journal about it and that works for me also the black and white photo of Will and Poppy kind of snuggling on the couch was during our big TV binge so I felt like that worked Plus, another thing that I love about the Nellie and Clem kits is that even though there may be one main theme, there's typically always other die cuts or filler cards that you can use for just everyday life kind of stuff. And in this kit in particular, there's also little houses and other little icons that almost make the kit a staying at home kind of vibe so I thought that it worked out nicely so there's always also a couple pattern papers in every kit so I grabbed this diagonal stripe which I liked a lot and I'm using that for my title card grabbed some older alphas that I've used plenty of times added on my week 26 and then I put the date so I will say about the date it is wrong um, I added July 4th into this week even though it should have ended at the third and I am guilty of doing that many times, so a lot of times my dates um, are incorrect, and I will say that a lot of times that is because uh, Will's weekend is on Sunday and Monday, so sometimes I just kind of get my dates scrambled up because my week really feels like it starts on the Tuesday, so it is technically wrong, yes, but things like that don't really bother me. I'm pretty... Uh, fluid with that sort of thing in my project life. I, I don't super care about the actual dates. I like to add the dates, of course, and I like to reference them to know what month it is or if it's the end of the month or the beginning of the month or whatever. But if my date is slightly off, it doesn't matter. I don't care if the fourth was on week 26 or week 27. It's all the same for me at the end of the day. So, Anyways, I like the way that that card ended up looking. I added the TV. I love the little vintage TVs and we'll add a little bit more to it as we go. But for the most part, that is what we're working with there. So I'll tell you a little bit about the rest of the week. So first off, you'll notice that beautiful bowl of veggies at the top. So those came from our garden. So this week we were able to pick a massive haul, the most veggies that we've gotten out of the garden thus far. So we have a couple different types of eggplants, some tomatoes, squash, several different peppers, all kinds of good stuff, some cucumbers. So that was really exciting. And of course I had to snap a nice photo of that then we also have a chicken so y'all the chickens are back we have a rooster that's been coming here every morning waking us up with the cock-a-doodle-doo <laughs> luckily it hasn't actually woken will up but I hear him just about every morning and he's ready to be fed but my parents also have a couple that have been hanging out at their house and um, they're so cute so the other night I was watching TV with my parents and this little guy was just peering in through the door so I thought that that was adorable and had to snap a quick picture so the photos that I'm working on now are a few screenshots of our Wordle group chat so me and Will are in a group chat where uh us and a few friends I think there's like seven or eight of us in there now we all send our Wordle score to each other every day so we've been doing that for months and months now but in 
or in June, we kind of upped the ante and we actually started to bet on the Wordle. So now everyone uh, pays $10 to the person with the lowest score at the end of the month. So it was really fun. It got a little spicy in the chat because of everyone being so competitive. And it was just really funny and fun to... Uh, to watch and everything. So I screenshotted a few different moments and I decided to add those into my spread. So I'm going to use one of those simple stories flip pockets just so I can add a few different screenshots instead of only one. So I love doing that. And I really like the way that this kind of card combination worked out. I love the background of the card and then I also use two different fonts which is one of my favorite things to do to spell out Wordle Squad because that is what our chat is called so I really like the way that that one worked out and honestly that is the epitome of project life for me those little moments where maybe in the grand scheme of things, they're not that important, but for day-to-day -day life, that's something that me and Will do so often is send our Wordle score, and we do Wordle together every day, and it's just such a fun little portion of our days, and I love Project Life because it really allows you to document all of those tiny moments that you probably would not document otherwise, so I love that. And then my last photo is just an image that I made on Procreate on my iPad, and it was to post to Instagram all about my current Patreon perks. So I love adding things like that into my project life because it's just uh, adds a lot of information about my basically job at this point. And I've always loved to document my job no matter what it is. So I love adding in different things about Patreon. Plus I did create that image on the iPad. So it's kind of fun to add it in just for that reason as well. So I decided I would add a little bit of journaling around this photo. Anytime there's like a circle image in my uh, project life, I just can't help myself but to draw on it. I just, it, it's just screaming to have some journaling around it. So I love that. So I always love these little stars that are typically included in the Nellie and Clem kits. So I am sprinkling them around the spread. And then for the most part, this is pretty much what it's going to look like. But I do add in a few of the gold stars, of course. And then I pop on a few enamel dots as well. I found this tiny word that said you had me at movie night and I thought that that worked out so well. We spent our 4th of July just lounging and watching Stranger Things. Like I said, we made enchiladas and we just enjoyed just a comfy cozy day at home protecting the babies from the fire booms of course and um they were good. Luckily, it wasn't too bad, but of course, they went on for days before the 4th as well. So I'm definitely happy to kind of have that holiday skedaddle and we can get things back to normal. So I will end up adding a little bit of journaling down there to the Patreon card as well. I'm going to grab a label and add that to the bottom. And besides that, I don't do much else. I really like the way that this spread ended up coming together. I love the colors and I just really thought that this kit was super cute in general. I'm definitely going to um, have to print it off and just put it with my other kit so that I can use it again in the future because as y'all know one of my favorite things to document are TV shows movies all that kind of fun media stuff so I'm sure that it will come in handy at some other point as well so I thought that it was a really fun one to use this week and of course I will add all of the information and the link down below to this kit if you want to pick it up yourself there's so many great kits from Nellie and Clem on Danielle's website and I highly recommend all of them I've had so much fun um, creating different projects with them uh, throughout my time on the design team and definitely I love using them for project life in particular because it's my favorite project to do. So once again, I'm just so thankful that I ha do project life and it just brings me so much joy each and every week. So just like that, it is done. I hope that you enjoyed this quick and easy process video. If you did, please give me a like and please also consider subscribing and I will talk to you guys later. Bye y'all.